Yo, what up, guys? We're going to bring you one of the cheapest, affordable, most efficient home security system devices there is on the market right now. It's the Wise Cam. It'll cost you about $20 to $23 on Amazon. Um, please click on my link below to get to that camera just to check it out or purchase. This device comes with 14 days free cloud recordings. It has an eight times digital zoom so you can zoom up on those crooks out there. And it also has night vision so you can see what's going on at night when the most shadiest things go down. If you're like in an apartment or a place that doesn't offer any type of home security or you're just new to home security, this would be a perfect place to start. The device shoots 1080p full. Here's a quick idea of what it looks like in the daytime. You can switch it between standard definition and high definition. Two-way audio, which I'll show later, and motion detections included. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. If you wanted to step up from this $23 option, Wise also has other cameras that are high scale, offer weather protection, that sort of thing. On the back is where you connect the USB cable to get it powered up. The USB on the top area there will allow you to daisy chain or connect another WISE camera to this camera and use one USB cable for a power supply. Included in the box is one USB cable for power, a 3M sticky mount, a magnetic plate for mounting on something that's metal. That's the charger pack to connect the USB cable to for power two little silica bags to keep everything fresh. Here's everything in total, and let's go ahead and get this thing set up. First thing you wanna do is plug the USB into the back. There we go, nice and snug. Once plugged in, give it about 20 seconds, then you wanna see this yellow light right there flashing on the back. That's when you know it's in a mode to start setting it up on the phone and through the app. Before you set it up on the app, I'd get a SD card. This is a 32 gigabyte. I think it holds up to 64 gigs, maybe even 128, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this in before we set it up. Now you want to go ahead and hit the setup button right there so we can get the camera ready to talk to the phone in the app. When you press the setup button, you should hear. Ready to connect. Once you hear that chime and message, go ahead and download the Wise app onto your smartphone. The Wise app is free and this will be used to monitor all of your cameras download footage, share out the cameras. You're pretty much going to control everything through this app. So go ahead and click new device there once you get in. Go ahead and pick the top one, which is the Wise Cam, and then follow the prompts um, through the wizard here just to get it set up. We'll, we'll walk you through it, of course. Here's where you put in your home Wi-Fi network so the camera knows how to connect to your phone. Then to complete it, you actually have to scan this code with the wise camera after that you'll go ahead and name the device then that's it you're connected and set up setup completed right after the setup is going to give you an option to share the camera out which will be done by email the account that actually set up the camera will be the only one that's going to be able to view playback to my knowledge all right let's go ahead and get it connected to see if i can establish a connection first all right there we go and first off there's going to be a firmware version update just go ahead and get that out of the way I'm gonna skip it for right now so this is what it looks like um, connecting it you're catching me right in the filming of this so this is pretty much what you get from the phone's perspective and again this can be viewed anywhere your phone has a data connection whether that be cell data LTE or a Wi-Fi connection. I've got the night vision setting set to auto, so it'll kick in once everything goes dark, as you can tell there. You can set it to always on, off, or auto, like I have right there. So let's say if you're viewing something outside or wherever and you want to record, I just hit the record button and I'm going to show you how to get to your recordings if you want to view them. All right, we have some footage. Now let's go take a look at it. Once you hit the stop button it will automatically save the video to your phone's photo album or wherever your videos and photos go so now I'm looking back in time for the recording I think anything before that green bar is nothing because I just set this camera up so that's the recording as you can see there's a timeline there I'm just jumping around this is how you would view playback um, if something were to happen, you're like, let me go back and look at this. This is what it would look like on your phone. 
not looking at it through the app, just looking at it through your phone's um, photo app and video app, this is what the footage would look like in full screen, of course. So pressing that sound button right there will let you listen to the sound of the camera. So if you're at the supermarket and you wanted to hear what your kids were doing inside of the house, press the sound button and you can hear everything that is going on inside of the house. You can also talk to anybody that's around the camera when you're away. Something like this. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. At this point, the person that's around the camera can respond back. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Here's a quick look at some of the settings here. Um, you can also restart the, the device down at the bottom. There's also a section to where you can change the detection zone settings. So if you have your settings too high, a fly can actually set your camera off if you have it somewhere like in your garage or outside. So you may want to adjust the sensitivity to that. Get notifications. You can get notifications sent to you when something does jump in front of the camera. You'll get a notification right away and then you can fire up the camera and see what's going on and view the playback. It's really an awesome camera for the price. So to wrap up things, go ahead and head over to Amazon so you can get the cheapest deal. Click on my link below in the description to get to this. Prior to purchasing these cameras, I bought about three of them at this point. I was, I had little to no experience with home security and cameras. Um, so I'll probably be upgrading to the higher version of the Wise cameras. They do have those options, so check Amazon for that as well. They even have mounts for these for outdoor usage as well. And here's a quick look at a newer bestseller model that I'll probably get next. That's all I got, guys. I wanted to bring this video to you because I had a lot of people always asking me what surveillance cameras that I'm using. So there you have it. Peace, love, and light. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.